function right. It's kind of like if you're laying down and the gas pedal is pushed down and you can't relax, or if you're standing up and you're fatigued all the time, that means there's a nervous system imbalance. So that's what we're going to find out here. And then at the end, it'll pull up a graph and it'll show you where you place on the graph. It's kind of a pretty graph. If you want to take your sweatshirt off, I'm going to put this on your stomach. Put your shirt down and I'm going to have you lay down right here on the table. Put your head up that way. And the only thing that I tell you during this test, don't cross your arms and don't cross your legs. Because it's like a pool in a machine. And I'm going to fix this right here. And it's going to go for two minutes and then I'm going to have you stand up and do two more minutes. Alright. So it'll test your nervous system laying down and then your nervous system standing up. Um, I'll show you the graph here. Um, this is the worst place to be. This is the best place to be. An average 50-year-old place is about here. So you can see you really could use to move up and over a little bit. An average 50-year-old is about right here. So you're about 70-something. Uh, well, you've been told you, you have wisdom beyond your years, but not years beyond your wisdom. <laughs> So what this really comes down to is it shows us that there's a need for improvement. You go by Will, correct? How old are you, Will? 20. 20, okay. Um, so this is testing your uh, uh, nervous system. Based on the way your nervous system responds, gives us a graph. There's the yellow diamond right there. This is the best place to be, worst place to be. As we age, we tend to go across this way. Healthy 50-year-old usually lands right in the middle. We like you up here a little bit more. You're not way down in the corner, so that's a not an uncommon starting point. Let's see where we're going to go here. Okay. Looks like your thyroid might be a little on the hyper side. We'll figure that out as we go along. Um, and let me see what brings you here. This is sleeping, getting sick easily. Yeah, I didn't have any like strong problems no. really. It's just not Tired a lot. So. Okay. That could be a thyroid issue. How long have you been having that tiredness? As long as I can remember, pretty much. Okay. Okay. Well, let's test you out and see what happens. Have you had any uh, work on that before, like through a chiropractor, acupuncture, and any? Good. Okay. All right. Let's uh, test. So, what I'm going to be testing, testing your nervous system. The way we test your nervous system, uh, we can do it through an arm or leg, wherever, but we're going to use an arm. Whenever you hold part of your body still, the body, the nervous system assists you by providing what's called a lock. It just gives you extra stability. We're not even aware it's there, but it's there. But the interesting thing about it is if there's a stressed area, we put some pressure on that stressed area, the lock will disappear. If there's no stress, then the, the lock stays. So we can just sort of check out the body and see where is it stressed and where is it okay mm -hmm. by testing the lock. Okay, so I'm going to test this arm. This arm generally an okay arm. doesn't get sore or anything. In other words, it'll be okay if I push on it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be pushing back towards your feet. You just match my pressure back up towards your head. Okay, stay nice and strong for me. Great. We're testing to see if you have a lock. You may not have a lock. All right, let's test up here. Difference. So, I think we need some thyroid support to get started. So I keep testing this arm here. There's your arm and mills. That is helpful. That's better. Okay, so when you have a there's enough energy in the supplements, your nervous system is going right through the body here. If you get those right close together, we'll get some feedback from the body. And so keep that arm a little bit stronger. Okay, so when those are on your body, 
we get a lock, which means I can push and sort of get a wall there. Let me show you what it looks like when you don't have a lock. There's a test area right here on the nose area. Now that's not locking right there. And a flip over to the other side. It's a different polarity. Usually that will lock now. Keep it a little bit stronger. Good. There it is. It's locking. And then if you flip over to the other side, not locking. Onto this side. Locks. Onto this side. Doesn't lock. Isn't that amazing, Will? It's going to be weird, and it's just going to feel like I'm pushing different every time. But the main difference is you have a lock one time, one time you don't. When you have a lock, it's going to make your arm real strong. It'll feel like I'm not pushing. I am pushing. I can actually, like when you have a lock, let me show you. I'm just going to lean into your arm a little bit. I can sort of lean my whole body weight, and you're, you're pretty strong. When you don't have this on your body, because this is what was giving you the lock, and I lean, now it's... Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Much weaker. I can't lean into your arm anymore. So basically the way your nervous system is testing is, even before we can test your system, the body's asking for a little bit of thyroid help so that your nervous system can work properly. So we always check the nervous system first. And right now the nervous system is saying, support the thyroid so I can do my job. So we're going to check over your belly button next. This is the one time we don't want to lock. It's not locking. That's good. Them and pinky together on one side for me. Let's do this pinky. Here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's all right. And this should be strong. And it is. Good. Okay. Undo that. Do that side over there. Thumb to pinky. See how we do it. Great. All right. So you can undo that. So the nervous system now is okay. So he has a weak arm to thyroid. The trophin handles it. It was okay. So now I'm going to test the rest of your body. I'm going to start at your head. Go under your stomach to see what shows up. Strong. Maybe close your eyes. Okay. I reach still shows up is being a little weak there. This is strong, this is strong, 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 strong. Checking the liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, bile, prostate, penis, and kidneys, kidneys. So, thyroid is the only zero. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's, if you put some middle finger to here, that will just prioritize things. And just make sure that's indeed the weakest point. It looks like it is. Okay, we'll do this. Check you on some minerals. Your body doesn't like minerals. It's okay. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, it looks like it might be a little bit on the hyper side. Let's try a um, few more stuff. Okay. Probably doesn't want iodine just yet. this group here. So I'm going to have you put some fingers across this row with this hand. We'll see which of these vials test the best. Just like three fingers is good. This one right here. I can't move it. That's flutone. Because that was uh, some homeopathic drops that test well for your thyroid. Let's see what that looks like. Nice. So that thyroid, without that on your body, when we test the thyroid, that arm is showing it's a stressed area. And we'll put this remedy on your and retest. I can't move that arm. That's good. So that means your body could use that stuff to its advantage. I'm going to just zero in on the foods and see what might be stressing the body with foods. Do you have a McDonald's one or?
Let's see. We're going to try here. Now, Will's actually pretty good about that. Wheat. It's wheat and dairy. These are the big two. Sometimes people have a lot more than that, but you're fortunate. You just have wheat and dairy. And the flu tone is going to take care of it. Do you have much in the way of digestive symptoms? Like you get gas bloating, discomfort, constipation. Yeah. Not really. Yes, detox is very efficient of you. Both places. Yep. So we'll probably want 15 drops in the flu tone. You can even hold this in your hand. the nervous system to test, you know, where the total concentration should be. Four goes weak, so we'll stick with three. And the flu tone, let's see what the body says about that. Just like from when I don't oh, you see eat for a while. Eat. Yeah, like low blood sugar headaches. So. Yeah. Yep, so that's the way to avoid those. Make sure you're getting protein when you're eating and then don't wait too long between meals. Um, Are you going to test them for the hyper? I'm just thinking about yeah. it. Okay, we might as well dive into that. I'm just going to tap a little bit on your thyroid just to make sure that it doesn't go hyper on us here. Weak thyroids sometimes have a tendency to accelerate. That's what the computer test looked like. Here we go. It's about 50. Yeah. And that program looks good. So normally I should be able to push, once we activate the thyroid like that, we should be able to push 10 times before this goes weak. And I push 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then it goes. So that's, that's a program that will not only strengthen your thyroid, but help stabilize it. You get a real hyperthyroid, sometimes folks will get anxiety, palpitations, mood swings, hyperness, AD, uh, you know, difficulty concentrating, different things. So let's just sit up. So that looks good, and... Um, you're, you also, your body is, uh, you know, responding on the fat side, which is nice. Uh, you're, usually by the second or third or fourth visit, we'll do detox. Your body's ready to do it right now. So one of the supplements you're on is drops. You put 15 drops in a glass of water, drink it once a day. Um, and usually detox, uh, detoxing, you'll feel better and better and better and better. But if you notice you're feeling worse in some way, you're getting headaches or stomach aches or something, we'll just have you drop down to a lower amount of drops. We we'll usually check you in a week to see how that's going. All right. So you have a brown eye and a blue eye. Yeah, I do. That's huh. amazing. That's great. Huh. That's, I'm sure everybody knows that at some point. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. There's a famous uh, actress, Jane Seymour, who has like different colored eyes. Oh, really? Yeah. She, Became one of her big uh, trademarks. Huh. Yes. Yeah, so up a thyroid problem when it's turned off. So lots of times we have a thyroid that's not turned off, but it's just not working optimally. And in that case, you don't need a prescription for it. You just need some uh, nutrition to help help it get going. And there's two issues that usually help the body. One is nutrition in, and the other is toxins out. And you're getting a bit of a bit of that. The, the one pill that you're on, thytrophin, is nutrition for the thyroid. When drops you're on, is toxins out. What I was measuring out was uh, some. Did he have uh, some vaccines? In the past? Uh, DPT, I think. Yeah. But, you know, the neat thing about the homeopathic detox, it'll just clear out whatever's there. It could be yeast, it could be parasites, it could be 
mercury, it can be anything. So I just usually measure one thing, I should pick DPT, and we'll just make sure that comes out nice and slow. As long as it comes out slowly, you'll feel better and better and better. And then we'll make sure, 15 drops should be about the right dose, but we will make sure of that by the next visit. And then if there's an allergy piece to this, uh, we'll we can do some magnetic therapy and different, uh, different things that we do for that. All right. So welcome to the wild and wacky <laughs> world of uh, muscle. Be hopeful, uh, especially being a younger person, usually things go pretty quickly. You don't have to wait around for a long time to get results. And then the, what I also have people do is write down what they're eating. And then uh, minimize white flour and white sugar, because that gets metabolized very quickly, puts up the insulin levels, it turns into sugar. So you want to, you know, you can do, uh, in, in your case, there's a dairy stress and a wheat stress. So you want to, um, you could do Ezekiel bread, have you ever had that before? It's sprouted green. I don't think I have. Okay. Yeah, so write down what you're eating, and it doesn't have to be a perfect diet, but try to see what you can do in terms of lessening Cakes, cookies, candies, ice cream, and soda. Culturally, we're so used to, like for instance, soda. We're used to just sodas around and everybody drinks it. It's really bad. <laughs> a, lot <laughs> worse than, a, lot, a lot worse than we think because it's a huge sugar load on the body. And we're just so used to it because everybody does it. But it's, it's a huge sugar load on the body. They've shown in studies two sodas a week increases your pancreatic cancer rate by 50%. That's what Steve Jobs died of and a lot of other people... Uh, Patrick Swayze and a ton of people have been dropping off. Actually, everybody you read, every famous person that's keeling over is pancreatic cancer these days. And it, but it's just become so pervasive, we don't even think about it. But it's actually very detrimental. puts a lot of stress on the body. So what we work on, working at, you know, anything that says enriched flour or high fructose corn syrup, that's the really bad stuff. Okay. So just write down what you're eating for now, and what I try to do when I'm working with people on diet, do it slowly, gradually, so it's not hard. The neat thing is, as you get the nutrition going in, you'll actually, your body will feel better, and you will stop craving bad stuff. You start feeling better, and you say, eh, I, I don't even feel like I need that stuff anymore. I, not even, I don't even have a taste for it anymore. So it's not always just a matter of willpower. It's a lot of times it's just getting the body back on track, and then, because oh. sometimes those cravings are actually a part of the whole pathology of what's going on with the, in your case, like the thyroid nut, you know, being some, somewhat stressed and digestion being stressed.